Okay, so I'm going to start off this episode by saying I don't know much about computers. Um, I'm not an expert at any stretch of imagination, so I just want to start off by saying that, and when I go ahead and do this, again, it's not, this, this video is not going to be a, more of a build of a construction physical thing, it's going to be more of a computer-based, electronic-based thing. So, okay. I'm going to be upgrading my computer. Uh, it's an older computer, but it's about three years old. It's an XPS 8300, 8300 from uh, Dell called about three years ago. Um, first off, we putting in a, um, a Sony, sorry, a Samsung um, solid state drive. It's a 250, 250 gigabytes of space. Obviously, the intention there is going to be to install the operating system on that, on that itself, and then maybe some, some specific software that we use a lot. We want the solid state drive working. And also we're going to be putting in a um, three terabyte hard drive as well. Currently our hard drive only has one terabyte. We're we'll adding, adding in an additional drive, a three terabyte drive um, of space. So hopefully that works. Um, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, so again, I didn't look too hard, but my town didn't. I did the, like the Office Max, Office Depot, things like that. They didn't have anything for computers. I already found out I need some SATA cables, make sure you get the right number. This is a SATA 3 cable that just for the better transfer rate of, um, of information. So you can get like, I like, think it's six megabits a second. I think so. And then I needed some more power adapters. Um, I didn't want to buy a whole new power supply in my computer. Um, I just was using a power adapter and hook up the three, the two new hard drives into the system to, to, get, to get it to work. I didn't need all that extra power and new power supply would have given me. So to that end, I'll go ahead and get the computer um, turned off and unhooked and we can get this thing going. I'm a little nervous about this thing. I don't want to, I mean, I really can't screw it up, but I don't want to mess up doing it. That makes sense. Anyway, we'll get to it. All right, so I'm apologizing right now for the, uh, the bad lighting in here, but I can't be undone. So first things first, um, I did enough research to realize that the the two first SATA imports on the um, motherboard zero and one are the best um, transfer rate. So I'm gonna unplug the one from my CD-ROM slash DVD drive and plug it into two. It does not need. I mean, nowadays CDs aren't even <laughs> aren't really used anymore. Um, I just download everything anyway. So I'm gonna plug it in. The, um, the SATA. Oops, that was backwards. Okay. I don't have a. I bought some a mounting kit, but I'm just going to do that later after we get this thing set up first. Okay. Plugged in. In. Okay, we got power. Let's put that. right in there for now and we'll, we'll rearrange it when we get everything get the other hard drive in there too so we'll go ahead and plug the power back in and uh, boot it up all right so here goes nothing just press the on button now I'm gonna get into the BIOS settings Okay, um, we'll do that. If, and I also talked to Dell, and they got me a new a, um, operating system DVD. I didn't have one that came with the computer, which I, which I needed. So, in goes the CD-ROM. Um, let's press the any key. Something's happening, we'll see what happens. I expected to go into the actual boot stuff first, 
um, but it, um, it, re it, it's go it realized what's going on, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but go and do this. The video I watched to get smart, quote smart on this, is already differed from what I'm doing too, so um, we'll see what happens. So I, well, I just did. I just put the CD-ROM, sorry, the the DVD in the in the uh, in the drive. Now it's um, looks like to be installed on Windows. We'll come back to you in a little bit. Something's going on. I'm not sure I told you this already, but I, when I was the video I was watching, I went and unplugged the hard my hard the first hard drive I had installed, so I wouldn't try to boot from that or anything like that. I didn't want the Windows CD um, DVD, sorry, booting to the to that. I wanted just to start fresh with this with this uh, SSD and see what happens. This might take a little bit. I'll come back right after I press the button. Uh, this the this screen just came up, so we'll go and start this thing up here. My English definitely is English. If I'm choosing to install Windows now, so this should take a little bit. And we'll come back to it. Got some more stuff here. Um, yep, I accept it. I'm doing a custom on that. And next. Okay, and now we're installing Windows. No idea how long this will take, I'll just come back to you. Still going strong. It's thinking we started or something. And uh, I think it's been about five, ten minutes. Okay, just restarted. Um, something, something should be starting. Alright, so it should take a little bit and we'll be, we'll be back. Okay, so that's me. Um, yep. I'm going to use the recommended settings. We are on Mountain Time, which I guess is Arizona Time. Nope, oh, there we go. I can't see. Yep, sounds about right. <laughs> right as I clicked it, it came up. But yeah, so looks to be working. Okay, I'm just going through. I'm um, seeing some stuff here, but um, I've got my local C drive program files. Not much will be there. I just want to test this out here. Do a restart. I've always heard this is fast, but I'll see what it's like on a solid state drive. I'm not gonna pause this, I just wanna see it from scratch. See what happens. That was pretty quick. Um oh yeah, that was that was fantastic. Okay, well I'm gonna go get everything set up here, um, probably off camera, and then we'll come back to you. All right, before I get too into it here, I just I had a couple other um, DVDs that I had from when I bought the computer. They were just um, like installed discs. Um, there's here's one of them right here. Um, you can't see that at all, can you? Um, it just says drivers and utilities, and just stuff like drivers and stuff like that already on the computer. So now I'm just going through each section. And un unstracting and installing the actual information here. Right now, I'm doing my audio driver. Um, so this is this is what I was kind of concerned about about the whole process here was installing and from scratch drivers and stuff like that. I didn't want to mess up doing this. So that was that. And see how this goes. I'll just 
keep doing this and come back to you. All right, so I finally got the software to where I wanted it to, all the drivers and stuff put on it. Now we needed to go ahead and actually finally connect everything together within the uh, uh, case itself. So what we have right here is my old one terabyte drive that will stay in here just for a uh, um, so I can transfer, start transferring stuff over to it. And so and until I get everything ready on the new heart on the new SATA and then and this three terabyte down here, we can still operate on this thing until it's get until we get comfortable with how the new one looks. <clears throat> so then down here is the three terabyte. Got to just uh, there's a bracket, a couple of screws on either side that fit in pretty easily. And then right here, can't really see too well. Here is the, oh, that's the actual SATA part itself. Until it focuses, one second. Maybe not. Oh well. Okay, anyway, so right here is going to be the actual SATA. And that's screwed into here to keep it nice and stable. Um, yeah, now we just gotta connect some cables here. So this this very first one on the zero SATA cable um, line is gonna go into the um, SATA port. Second SATA cable is gonna go into the three terabyte. The third one is gonna be this blue one, which will go into the one terabyte. And the last one, the orange one, it's already installed. I already moved it. It's gonna be going into the our DVD. ROM drive. So now I need to go ahead and power all these th these three different uh, drives and then we'll uh, get ready to boot it up and get it go. And now we have it. So I actually didn't um, end up using this extra uh, power cord that I got. I thought, I thought I needed to pull this all together. So the, um, got to obviously get the, the red going to the, the one right there. Got this red one going into the three terabyte, the blue one connected to that one, and so on and so forth. I actually ended up moving this uh, SATA, the, the solid state drive up here, so it could connect to the same one, the power cord that was connected to, this, to, to the actual DVD drive, instead of having to connect this to the, the DVD drive extended one, and then having this extra cord, which I didn't need in there, I moved it. I thought it would be a much better idea, having cables in there that we don't need because it's pretty full in there already. So next step is to go ahead and start up the computer. Okay, press the on button and get into the BIOS setting. Okay. Now we need to go to the boot priority with an actual hard disk itself which is this option right here. The first option we want to do is going to be the solid state Samsung drive. Next doesn't really matter for this end, I don't think. But we'll go and just do the three terabyte and then the one terabyte, which is already set up to do. That's that. Press F10 to escape and save. And we're ready to go. The sound you're hearing is the fan um, any ideas on how to stop that fan from making that much noise when I started up, please let me know. I know there's like clock settings you can do, but I, to be honest, I really don't know about too much about that. <clears throat> so now we're just going to boot up here. Again, nothing should have really changed since we've already installed everything we needed on the solid state drive. Now what was different is we're just connecting the three terabyte, the one terabyte to it. So yep, we're up and running. I love how fast that is. Uh, it works. So we already have some devices down here. Um, that's going to be the three terabyte and one terabyte uh, recognizing themselves as drives. And I'm going to pause and then go look at Google to verify my next step. All right, I think we're ready. So we're going to go to uh, computer. Uh, right click on the computer icon, click manage. And from there, we're going to go into disk management. And it's going to say we want to initialize it. That's a yes. It'll do its thing. I'm 
right click so what you do is right click on this new new simple volume click next ask me to confirm the size and drive letter we want to do that that's all good now label that or label it label this one as this is the one terabyte if I am not mistaken oh wait this is actually cancel that because I don't want to overwrite the terabyte um, that's the hard well, this is the old one terabyte right there already so we need to find the three terabyte which I don't see it in here interesting okay I'll figure this out and come back all right so I went ahead and uh, Google it and found that it's a common issue with uh, this operating systems that are updated with the most current software, if you will. So I went ahead and I just Googled it and I came up with a couple different uh, options. First thing was I went and went, the first thing, I, only thing I did actually is went to, um, there was a link off a video I watched and it sent me to download a new Intel RST rapid storage technology and that actually started, installed this thing, which I don't really know what it is, but it's from Intel so I'm going to trust that it works anyway so I installed that restarted it and now we are back we are back at this screen and we have 2794 gigabytes of unallocated information so that's exactly what we want we want to do a new simple drive click next all, all of that information great oh it's gonna be a K drive that's that's fine I'm not really sure what to, la to label this I'll just do three terabyte so then when I'm installing new programs I'll know quickly. I don't want to call it storage. It's not really storage drive. It's just a three terabyte hard drive. So, okay. And it's going to do that. And it's going to format it. And it's going to come up. Yep. Okay. Well, I'll go out. Can't close out of that. So there we go. There is our three terabyte hard drive. Here's our solid state drive. Here's your recovery drive. It's actually from this, actually from the one, one terabyte that's just kind of left over, which I think is kind of funny. And then, yeah, they have a DVD drum, which Problems getting outdated. Anyway, so we are up and running. Yep, I'm on Mozilla. Okay, <clears throat> so that's that's that. Um, I do a couple more videos just to see, just to make sure this thing works correctly. But we should be good to go. Um, probably install my uh, software for video editing on the actual solid state drive, so it can um, make videos that much faster. But it still has to pull from the where the video is files are so it has to do that first to make sure you put them on the the drive that's going to be the quicker set of cable but that's that's not here nor there i've got a couple more drivers it looks like need to update i can do that right now but anyway um this was a fun fun thing actually didn't take as long as i thought it would but just want to say thanks for watching and have a good day